This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an antique shutter lock that was made in Soviet Russia, probably in the 1960s or 70s. Like almost all Soviet locks, this has the price stamped right into the side. This one was 4 rubles, 42 kopeck. Now I'm not great with the factory stamps on Soviet locks, but this is one that's very familiar to me. It's for the Alexin plant of heavy industrial valves. It wasn't always called that, but it's an ironworks that dates back to the 1700s, and the history of this company is absolutely incredible. Everything from making munitions to repel Napoleon's invasion of Russia to building valves for the Siberian oil pipeline. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want an interesting read. Now the lock itself is a fairly competent design. We have a hefty steel lock body, a sliding bolt shackle, and a fairly tight opening to protect both the shackle and hasp. But where the lock falls down is the core. It has five pins, no security pins, fairly sloppy tolerances, and a wide open keyway. So getting this open shouldn't pose too much of a challenge. We're going to start by trying a low skill raking attack. Now like many Soviet locks, this one turns counterclockwise to open. I'm using a wiper insert for tension. We're going to use this wave rake, see if that's enough to get it open. And just that fast it popped. So a nice solid lock body, but it seems pretty clear that the core is inadequate for the rest of the package. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.